everybody, in this video I want to share with you some information about blackberries, health and skin benefits. Blackberries has a lot of vitamins, minerals and organic acids. Vitamins like A, E, C, B, minerals like phosphorus, magnesium, manganese, potassium, copper, iron and others. Blackberry contains ascorbic acid, glucose, sucrose, fructose and carotene citric, salicylic and other acids. It's great antioxidant. Eating it regularly will make immune system and nerve system stronger. It improves blood circulation in the brain and improves memory and sleep. It prevents from kidney stones and it's excel it's excellent flu home remedy. In cold times just drink tea uh, with it or eat it. For example just mash a few berries and put hot tea on it and just drink it. It will prevent a flu or can help to get rid of flu. <coughs> and as I said, it contains natural sugars, so it's good for people with diabetes. And you know, sometimes when you ate a lot of food, you can feel that it's all stuck in your throat. And just eat 50 or 100 grams of berries, just half cup of berries, or drink half cup or one cup of juice. It will help you to get rid of that feeling. A lot of pregnant women can have this feeling too. So doctor tells you drink malox so you can drink blackberry juice instead of that as well. A bunch of vitamins for baby and mama and also it's home remedy which is uh, safe, risk free and very good. It's also good to make a tea with blackberry if you have high temperature. It's excellent for kids because they don't like medicine, and, but they like sweet. I always drink uh, tea with blackberries and also raspberry is very good for this too. Raspberry. Just a few berries, mash it just with a spoon and put hot tea. It, gonna, it can put the high, uh, high temperature down right away and you will sweat a lot. So temperature will go away and a few times, like four or five times a day, drink tea with it. Or with, or with blackberries or with raspberry, both of them work great. So it's because kids they don't like medicine and when they're sick they just uh, they will not let you give them any medicine. So this is works great. And it's also excellent for those who have lowered hemoglobin. Um, you know that hello uh, when you feel or the head always goes around. And the doctors tell you to eat good food, and um, so you, the um, hemoglobin can go higher. Also, for lowered hemoglobin, good buckwheat, fried onions, raisins, and let me show you something about buckwheat. And it's not um, related to the subject, but let me show you. This is something like that. It's a very, very good. I don't know how to say seeds. It's, it's like you can cook it like rice and it prevents you from gaining weight. You're not going to gain weight and it's very delicious. It's all iron, full of iron. And you cannot eat it uh, two or three days. Uh, you need to like make a break, eat today and eat third day or eat uh, fourth day or eat uh, through uh, one day and after two days because you're going to feel on your tongue that you're chewing metal. It's very strong and it make hemoglobin very high and also you are not going to gain weight and it's very healthy. It's much better than rice even. And you can find it in America. I know it's not very famous because every time I tell somebody about it, <laughs> nobody uh, knows about it. So, And now let me tell you some information about blackberry skin benefits. When your skin uh, feel tired from summer heat or cold winter, or from swimming in a salty sea water, or even when we eat not right, uh, this goes. Uh, we can see on our skin, right? Our skin doesn't look beautiful. No, no, color is bad. So blackberry is a good source of vitamins, which help to tire skin and help to improve skin color. It's also good for mature, fading skin, acne, for moisturizing dry skin and pimples, and also very effective for oily skin. It tones, moisturizes it nourishes it and also help to get rid of extra oily shine. It has pectins which improve metabolic metabolic processes and, uh, and various skin disease. Vitamin C reduces and smooths small wrinkles. Vitamin E renews the skin and also smooths wrinkles. Manganese disinfects the skin. Potassium moisturizes it. 
you can also uh, find many other products with potassium even you can use potato which has a lot of potassium and potato the fresh potato is also good too for that fresh potato you can just uh, without peeling it because the peel of the potato has more potassium than potato by itself inside so you can just squeeze potato juice you know it's full of starch and just wipe your skin with a deep cotton pad and it's very good for oily skin it will get rid of extra oily shine and moisturize it too or for pimples and acne it's good to just apply mashed potato the boiled mashed potato put on face warm potato it's good too for acne and pimples and let's come back to this and also this also as I said has iron because I was telling you that uh, it's good for lowered hemoglobin it has a lot of iron that's why it helps to, to make blood stronger and um, because of the active ingredients which can give color to your skin because the, you see this is dark color and same like carrot um, it's better to never use carrot fresh or you can use it in, in small amount together with other products right so this is the same thing it can give some color to your skin but when I do it it doesn't give me any colors uh, when I do it I'm just my skin just look much better after first time of using mask with blackberries so you can just try it for 3-5 minutes on your skin on the, just on this place of the hand and if you see there's nothing happen you can try on your skin on a face skin it, same way you can just keep it for 3-5 minutes and nothing, nothing happen you can go ahead and do it all the time but if you have sensitive skin, um, I do recommend to do it because it can irritate your skin. It has a lot of vitamin C um, or other vitamins, they can um, be too much for your skin. But there's so many masks you can do for sensitive skin, so don't worry. When I do blackberry mask, I said it doesn't give any color to my skin and after I use this um, mask or just you can use it as a lotion, squeeze the juice and dip a cotton pad in it and it, your skin will look much fresher, much better and it looks like you know you give, you give it new life just from after using one time but keep it for 15-20 for minutes 10-15-20 so your, this is enough time to, for your skin to get absorbed uh, to absorb all the vitamin it needs and as I said, you can use it as a lotion. Uh, and let me tell you how to make a lotion. It's very easy. Just take the two, three berries. You don't need to make a big bottle and store it because everything good while it's fresh. And I'm not. I don't want to tell you to use any alcohol and mix it. Just um, fresh yeah. berries because we can make it anytime, right? Just mash it with two hands, with two with your fingers, and no need uh, anything specific for this. Just uh, push it just like this and mash it, it's very soft and will be easy. For dry skin you need to, like for example, add one tablespoon of this juice. Uh, just mash it and take one tablespoon and tablespoon of water. Mix it and dip cotton pad in it and wipe your face for oily skin. And wipe your face for 10-15 minutes and then just wash it away. And it's good because when you mash the whole berries and put on your face, they can fall down on your clothes and make you dirty. But that's why mashed berries is better to apply when you're in the bathtub. So yeah, you're not gonna worry because if they fall down on your clothes, it's, it's gonna be stained there. So that's why lotion is more safer. You're not gonna make yourself dirty. And for oily skin, you just need to use the, the juice of the berries by itself without adding any water. It will help to get rid of extra oily shine and will give all the vitamins you need. Uh, mashed berries or juice of them, it's gonna give the same result. Just juice uh, will be safer for you. You're not gonna uh, get dirty on your clothes. And for fatty mature skin, you can just add there for the tablespoon of juice the berry juice and tablespoon of milk you use uh, the milk which has fat you know the not the one which reduced fat the one has fat so milk and two tablespoon of milk tablespoon of berry juice and just mix it in a small cup and deep cotton pot just for one time and wipe your face with it it's very easy to make just fast mesh with fat and mix it and wipe your face with it and also don't forget about neck never forget about neck because neck gets older faster than the uh, skin, face skin so you wanna you wanna keep everything looking uh, beautiful right and young 
So I think I told everything what I wanted to say in this video. Thank you for watching this video and watch my other videos. Thank you.